people this is the greatest gift that you can give your children is the uh, the gift of eating of eating plant based. Welcome back to the finale of our two-part series on the inspirational Mr. Rip Esselstyn. As we learned in part one, Mr. Esselstyn has been a world champion athlete, life-saving firefighter, loving family man, and New York Times best-selling author of The Engine 2 Diet, all the while living a meat-free, plant-strong lifestyle for 24 years. I cite my father's 25-year uh, study uh, showing that you can not only prevent but also reverse heart disease by eating, by eating a low-fat, plant-based diet. Let's now continue our informative conversation with Mr. Esselstyn to learn more about his approachable book that has led countless people to transform their lives for the better. Why is the Engine 2 diet 28 days? Uh, because it's incredible how in just 28 days you can um, change a number of things. Um, physiologically, it's incredible how, how quick the body can, can heal itself and get healthy. So in 28 days, you know, you can change your palate, you can reprogram your brain. This becomes much more of a lifestyle, becomes very habitual. Um, and to me, it's not so long that it's daunting and it scares people away. And of course, my, my, my goal and my hope is that after 28 days, people will be hooked and they'll be for, forever changed. I'm not a big fan of the word diet. Uh, I don't believe in diets. Um, so really, this is not a diet. This is a, a lifestyle. Okay, so basically, so the 28-day program is a vegan diet that is free of any animal products. So is the vegan diet complete in terms of nutrients and proteins? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this, this diet is, is, is complete. You'll get all the macronutrients you need, meaning the fat, the carbohydrates, the protein. There's a big misconception out there that you can't get all the protein you need eating a uh, a vegan or plant-based diet and nothing could be further from the truth as long as you're consuming enough calories you're getting enough protein when you eat a processed and refined food diet and animal-based diet you're not getting any fiber you're not getting any phytochemicals minimal amounts of antioxidants and animal-based products for example don't have any c any e or any um or any folate so you're missing really three major vitamins that you're not getting in animal-based products. Uh, whereas in, in plant-based products, you get everything in the way of vitamins, uh, minerals, nutrients, and, uh, and the three major macronutrients. So after the 28 days is finished, what do you recommend to people? After the 28 days, you feel better than you've ever felt. You look better than you've ever felt. Push on, push on, keep going and um, you know, continue to be plant strong. Um, if people you know, are going out to dinner, uh, they're traveling, um, you know, I have an acronym which is FAB. F is figure out what you can eat. So I don't care what restaurant you're at, there's always something on that menu you can eat that, uh, that is a vegan option. Um, and then the A stands for ask for what you want. Do not compromise, do not settle. Uh, ask for what you want. It's so easy to eat this way, whether I'm at a Thai restaurant, whether I'm at a Chinese, Japanese, Korean, you know, all of these cities have them. Whether I'm at a pizza, a pizza joint, you can make it work. I'll get a stir fry and I'll ask, can you ask the chef to, to stir fry this in orange juice or veggie broth or carrot juice instead of, you know, olive oil or some sort of oil? And nine out of 10 times they come back and say, happy to do it. As a matter of fact, he, uh, he was really, really enjoyed making it that way, and we're gonna add it to the menu. And the last uh, part of the acronym is B, bring your own food. You know, when I'm traveling and I'm on the airplane, I just make sure I bring, uh, bring enough food to last me two meals. So whether it's a couple sandwiches, a couple pieces of fruit, a couple really clean uh, energy bars, uh, you name it. Be as plan strong as you can because you won't regret it.
And the more you continue to, to do this, the easier it becomes. The more people that start eating this way, the easier it's going to become and the less it's going to be uphill and, um, and, the, and the more restaurants will make this easy. Uh, you use the term sometimes plant strong diet. Yeah. Tell me what that means. So I kind of came up with plant strong. It's very, very inclusive. It's not exclusive. You know, I want people to know that this is not an exclusive club. We are, we are inviting anybody and everyone to be part of the, the Plant Strong Club. And we just ask you to, you know, really reconfigure what's on your plate, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and eat more plants. Eat more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans. And it's that, it's that simple. And if you can do that, your health will improve and uh, the, the world's health uh, will improve in turn. I like the term and a lot of people are seem to be very drawn to it as well. So of those who stick with the change, yeah. can you speculate on what their lifetime benefits are of sticking with that change? Oh gosh, they're enormous. Um, the fact that you don't have to worry about uh, obesity, your body will find a place of homeostasis where it is very, very comfortable and um, and you basically just can, can eat until your, your tummy is content. Uh, and, um, and that is a wonderful thing. And you can find your perfect weight um, as far as heart disease, type two diabetes, uh, prostate cancer in men, uh, breast cancer in female. Your chances of getting those are either eliminated or greatly, greatly, greatly uh, reduced. Uh, for the men out there, the first clinical sign of heart disease is erectile dysfunction. So for a lot of men out there uh, that uh, they want to be real men, I have a saying and it's real men eat plants and they don't eat meat. <laughs> Do you have favorite success stories of people who have been on the Engine 2 diet? Would you share one? Yeah, well, I've got lots and lots. One that I love was a sous chef and uh, started eating this way lost 35 pounds in, in two months. His cholesterol dropped um, from 220 to 130. And he, he wrote me an email and he said that he was sitting at the dinner table and he told his wife that when you change what you eat, all of a sudden you are um, giving yourself permission to love yourself, and that makes all the difference. And I thought that, that was really, really beautiful and, and in a simple way, very, very profound. That, you know, just by changing what you eat, you basically give yourself permission to love yourself. And, and that has some really profound effects on, on your whole outlook towards yourself and life. What started off as a simple gesture of solidarity between the Station 2 firefighters to save a colleague's life by foregoing meat to be plant strong has become an incredible movement locally in Austin, Texas and the world. Well, we started in 2003, but now we have pockets of people that are eating plant-based uh, throughout the 44 different stations uh, wow. in, in, in Austin. So it's, um, it's actually really amazing how it's kind of inf infiltrated out throughout the department. Since then, Mr. Esselstyn has also been featured prominently in the national media, including the Dr. Oz Show, the Today Show, the Early Show, and Good Morning America, to name a few. He has also partnered with the largest natural food store in the world, Whole Foods Market, which has plans to roll out an Engine 2 vegan product line in late 2011. And a lot of these are kind of straight from the book. Sweet potato lasagna, macaroni and not cheese, red Thai curry, pad Thai, Greek pizza, green pizza, oh, shepherd's pie. We have some pastas, pasta with kale, pasta with basil, um, some really clean salad dressings. Um, are soups. these vegetarian? These are all no animal based. They're, they're whole foods, low fat, low sodium, uh, plant strong um, products. Yeah, yeah, all the good, none of the bad.
Let me ask you, have you noticed a trend toward a vegetarian diet in recent years? Yeah, absolutely. I think there is a trend. Right now we're in an amazing, amazing point in history with this information era and the information is out there. Whether it's the internet, cable TV, I'm, I'm amazed at the amount of uh, vegetarians and, and vegans that I'm running into. And, and recently there was a, uh, an article that was written up in the Boston Globe uh, where this woman refers to this, this trend that's going on specifically in 40 and 50 year old males who uh, want to be as healthy as they can be, they want to live as long as they can, and they want to be the best men they can be. And she referred in this article to them as hegans, instead of a vegan, a hegan. Boston Globe correspondent Kathleen Pierce writes, Perhaps the ultimate Hegan is Rip Besselston, a veteran firefighter and triathlete in Austin, Texas. I look at the fire chief at the, of the Prince William County Fire Department reaching out to me to get his 500 occupational athletes uh, on board the, the Plant Strong program. And uh, that to me is a real sign. Uh, I recently had a, um, um, some people that reached out to me from the town of Mercersburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, a population 2,500, they want to start a wellness community. And so they're getting together with all the community leaders, the restaurant leaders, um, the schools in the area, and they want to create a model uh, that any other town in America can, can emulate because um, they want to completely transform themselves from a sick community to a wellness community. And then I recently got a phone call from the Sacramento Food Bank in Sacramento, California, and we're going to be working with some really low income uh, populations there to teach them how they can eat uh, in a very, very affordable manner uh, and eat plant-based uh, to absolutely uh, change their health destiny as well. So uh, from my vantage point, I see all kinds of trends going on. So. What is your dream? What would you like to see come out of all of your efforts? Right now, you know, uh, we have 50% of, of, uh, of this country that's coming down with heart disease or will die of heart, of heart disease. We have almost 40 or 50% of men and women that will come down with cancer. So my dream and my goal is that instead of having 5 or 10% of um, of America right now, educated about about um, diet and nutrition, it's 90. It's it's 95 percent. Just like what's going on right now with smoking, you know, just about everybody knows that smoking is bad for your health, and this needs to go into the school systems, you know, into work, on the internet, TV shows, um, you name it, um, and then and then just by doing that by proxy. You know, the animals will be saved, the planet will be saved. Um, it's incredible how, uh, how everything is, is so interconnected um, with, with food. My hope is over the next five years, we really, as a country, we get to a certain tipping point where eating plants is looked at as absolutely the coolest thing on the planet. For being a vegan champion of the world and for showing people that they too could lead heroic, compassionate lives simply by changing their food choices, Rip and other members of Fire Station 2 were honored by Supreme Master Ching Hai with the Shining World Leadership Award in 2006. Supreme Master, thank you for everything that you have done and that you are continuing to do make planet Earth a better place to live. It's very, very much appreciated. You're wonderful. Mr. Rip Esselstyn, words are never enough to express our gratitude for your dedication to save the world with beneficial information and life-sustaining vegan foods. We wish you luck and many blessings in your endeavors. I'm Rip Esselstyn of the Engine 2 Diet. Be veg, go green to save the planet. 
For more information on Rip Esselstyn and his Plant Strong Engine 2 Diet, please visit Engine2Diet.com. Plant Strong viewers, thank you for spending your precious time with us today. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples. May the healthy glow and the strength of a kinder diet fuel you on all your heroic adventures. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE 